Hey guys, James here back with another video. So today I've got the X-Rite i1 Display Pro Monitor Calibrator. Um, this is pretty cool. Um, basically, if you don't know what a monitor calibration is, basically what it does is you plug it through USB, you stick it on your monitor using the program that comes with it um, or that you can download, and basically in about four or five minutes, it will calibrate your monitor to a very neutral look so that every time you edit photos, any time that you edit videos, you know that you're getting f neutral colors which will be represented well um, every, any anywhere you go. So if you're looking on a phone, an iPhone, or a Samsung, or um, a TV, or a computer, you know that generally you got your colors right. Because what I found is that currently I'm using multiple monitors. My ultra wide monitor is good, but I found the, the monitor I'm using on top, which is also a Dell, both are Dell, um, one has a bluish tinge to it and one has more of an orange tinge to it and so the ultra white has an orange and the the, the standard the one at the top 169 has a has a blue so i found that okay i need to actually resolve this and i'm doing a wedding soon so i need to actually resolve these color issues because if i don't and i color correct and i color grade um to what i'm seeing on my monitor and what if it's wrong and you know therefore you know people are paying money for this and so i felt i felt that as an investment, I should get this. Now, I was struggling between um, two models. So obviously, X-Rite, um, from what I've heard online, it's quite popular, uh, more so than um, the Spiders. I only heard about Spiders before. I sort of heard of X-Rite, but Spiders were more popular for some reason when I was studying at uni um, photography. But I think X-Rite is probably the best uh, from what I've read online and the i1 Display Pro is basically industry standard so that's what everyone's using um, and so it does have features which I probably won't use but I figured that I might as well future proof myself and um, that's something which my dad always says you know you, you do it once or you buy it once you buy it right don't don't buy it and then regret later because I did that once um, with an acoustic guitar I didn't buy a cutaway for those who know what a cutaway is and it was only $200 extra and I still have this guitar and I still regret it. Uh, so from then on, I've learned from my mistake. And basically, if if you can re if you can afford it now, basically buy it now. Um, in in the sense that don't don't say, oh, okay, because it's fifty dollars extra, I'm not going to buy it, and then you regret later in the future and think, well, I'm not going to buy another one um, because you're spending more money. So think about it. For example, if I wanted to upgrade to this in the future, I would have my um, the other one was the Color Monkey Pro. Um, or the Color Monkey display. Um, imagine if I spent um, $100, $200 on that and then I wanted to buy this one which is $300, I'll be paying $500 versus paying $100 extra now. And so that's the, that's the logic behind it. Um, anyway, enough talking, um, let's get into it. So this is compatible with Windows and Mac. Um, may not be compatible with uh, El Capitan which is currently but I'm hoping it is. Um, and yeah, before and after, and this is basically how you do it. Um, I might run a little setup video on how I actually cal calibrate it um, to show you guys the before and after difference. Um, but yeah, let's just get, get into it. Let's open the box. Don't want to waste too much time. I really want to get into it anyway, so... Okay. Get rid of that. Open it up. Um, and it comes with the CD, so it is not downloadable. No, I'm sure it is, but they come with it. So that's the box. CD, um, it's the profiler software. So basically when you run this for the first time and multiple times that, um, yeah, this is the software you use. Now with, um, in case you didn't know about monitor calibration, they recommend you usually do it about four weeks, every four weeks, so like once a month. Um, and if you're really, 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 really pro, then you do it at least like every time you do it. Um, if, but it, that's only if your ambient like conditions change and I'll get more into that later. I don't want to spill it all onto you. This is the uh, manual. I think this is a better way to do manuals, honestly. Step by step, um, each page and they have all the languages on one page. I find that better because I feel like you don't, you don't even look at half the other stuff anyway. Um, it's just a waste of time. Okay, let's just go through it um, before... Oh, actually, let's look at it first. Um, so it's got this plastic seal on it. Um, this is pretty much it. So USB cable, quite long, obviously, um, to reach your monitor. 
Now, this is the this is a basically a, a weight. Um, so obviously this has the USB uh, kind of specifications, but it's basically a weight to a counterweight for for this, so it doesn't fall off your monitor. So you basically press this and you move it across, and then it locks into place. Um, so obviously that would be good um, for that. Now you can put this on a tripod thread, so it has a tripod thread. Um, that's cool. Um, the i1 display, x right um, This is like an activity LED um, on both sides. On top is the ambient light sensor. So what will happen is when you begin um, the first, when you begin a calibration, um, they will tell you to put the thing on the desk in front of your monitor. And this will measure the ambient light in your room so that it can adjust for that ambient light and the color temperatures for that light. And then once you've done that, flip that around and then you shove this side onto um, the monitor. Now, if you, as you can see, I hope you can, there's a little kind of like, it's like a rubber kind of, uh, like a soft kind of pad to it so it doesn't damage your monitor. So if you're worried about that, don't need to worry about that. Um, and yeah, and that's just the lens element and that will read the monitor and, and kind of configure everything according to what it's seeing. Um, that's pretty much it. Really simple, um, honestly. Um, let's go to the quick start guide for those who want it. Um, so obviously they say, you know, that's the i1 display, that's the quick start guide, that's the software CD, so that's fine. Um, put the software, install the software first. Um, now, if you don't, now, this is gonna be tricky. I have a Mac, Book Pro, Retina, no CD drive. So I'm gonna have to download it, I think, if I can. After you complete the installation, connect it to the USB port. Um, Put the ambient diffuser on, uh, measure the ambience around, and then flip it around to measure the computer. To adjust the counterweight pull, yep, we've done that. And mount the device and adjust the counterweight, yep, so it's like this. So this is obviously an iMac, an old generation iMac. It is not a fan, it looks like a fan, for those who don't know what iMacs are. Um, and yeah, you just counterweight balance it so it doesn't fall down. Um, which is a smart idea, um, and then you just flip it around. Now the cool thing is, um, let me just quit reading. Yeah, so the cool thing is, um, if you leave it on your desk, which I probably won't, because I'm, I generally have quite similar lighting conditions. Um, if you leave it on your desk, um, it will constantly measure the ambient light. Um, so if, if you leave it on this mode, it will constantly measure the ambient light and it will adjust your monitor according to what um, ambient light is available. And so that's pretty cool for those who like that. But for me, I probably won't do that. Um, now you can measure projectors. So the way to do it is you just kind of point it at the projector um, at a 45 degree angle. Yeah, that's it. Really simple. So summarize, let's get this box out of the way. Um, <laughs> what you get is you get the, the user manual, which is nice, CD, the CD uh, installation software and also the x the, the x -Rite one i1 Display Pro. Um, pretty much it. So I'll probably do another video, um, actually, you know, how I'm showing me calibrate these monitors because um, I'm sure a lot of people want to see that and see, you know, does it actually make a difference? And so I reckon it will. And so, you know, I'll show you that. Um, but yeah, hope you like this video. Like it if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or comments and I'll get around to answering those for you uh, as soon as I can. And yeah, subscribe to see more videos. Now, if you did want to pick one of these up, um, please use my affiliate links below um, in the description. It does give me a kickback and it does help this channel to keep producing videos as well. Um, so yeah, please do that. If you want to get one, it is relatively cheap, about $300 Aussie, um, which is quite competitive. Um, so yeah, see you guys in the next one.